The war is brewing again in Gaza. Israel has resumed its fight after a ceasefire expired, saying Hamas had violated the truce. Che Soo-young has the latest. Fighting between the Israel Defense Forces and the Palestinian militant group Hamas resumed immediately after the temporary ceasefire ended. The IDF said it had restarted combat operations against Hamas in the Gaza Strip and had launched airstrikes in the northern part of the region. According to Reuters, the Israeli military said that Hamas violated the ceasefire by firing toward Israeli territory. The IDF announced it had shot down a rocket launched from Gaza about an hour before the truce was set to end at 7 a.m. local time. Early in the morning, rocket attack warning sirens sounded in southern Israel, prompting the government to issue a closure order for schools bordering the Gaza Strip. On November 24, Israel and Hamas agreed to a four-day ceasefire for the exchange of hostages held by Hamas and Palestinians detained in Israel. Later, they extended the truce twice for two days and then one day. During the seven-day pause, 110 hostages among 240 kidnapped by Hamas during its October 7th attack were exchanged for 240 Palestinian prisoners among at least 7,000 held in Israeli prisons. Israel also allowed the delivery of humanitarian assistance into the devastated coastal strip. Arab media outlet Al Jazeera mentioned that mediating countries, including Egypt, are still walking toward extending the ceasefire. The Hamas attack against Israel from the Gaza Strip on October 7 killed around 1,200 people. Since the war began, more than 14,800 people have been killed in Gaza, including about 6,000 children. Chesuhyang, Arirang News.